Hey everybody, it's Shannon with Shannon Sweets. So I want to go ahead and bring to you my sneak peek um, video of the product that I received from the new upcoming mini catalog that is for August through December. Um, they had to delay it coming out a little bit just because of all the shipping delays that are going on around the world actually but um, all the port congestions caused it so we get to uh, pre-order and mine came in I by no means have you know everything in the catalog but I just got the things that make me happy and uh, makes my daughter happy because uh, it got added to when she saw it and the great thing about this upcoming, um, the beginning of the catalog is we're having another celebration. Both those catalogs will be available. Um, I didn't bring them up because I can't show you the insides yet. So after the catalog releases, I'll let you, we'll go through the inside of the catalogs. But um, if you're not on my um, list and you want to um, receive a catalog from me, just let me know and I'll be glad to get you one. So this was absolutely the first thing that I saw. Um, and I actually saw the paper, which I thought I had handy. Um, and the paper, so this is paper, I haven't even opened it. Um, and I knew when I saw the paper, I was like, oh my gosh, if we have penguin paper, there has to be a stamp set. So I hadn't even looked at the catalog yet when I saw this. I looked at the celebration first and I was like, I have to have this. My daughter's going to go nuts. She absolutely loves um, anything bears, penguin. I mean, the penguins, absolutely. So um, you get the paper free with any $50 purchase. You can select this and these little polar bears. We have a big stuffed polar bear. So, of course, she absolutely had to have that. And, of course, there's some trees. I mean, look at these little guys. They're so cute. Snowman are her absolute favorite, which I have another stamp for that. And look at that purple. That's, oh, my gosh. Look at that little fox. So I'm very, very into cutesy stuff. Um, I mean, I like flowers and stuff too, but this is my thing. These are just absolutely, oh my gosh. I even love this polka dot. Look at that polka dot. So she's already, she helped me um, open this box because we had a big hole in our box today. So we had to double check everything was there right away. And she already is like, she's got, she wants to put this on some scrapbook pages. So definitely not just a winter thing. Can definitely be used for um, more than that. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. So this does come as a bundle with the punch. And the punch does work on the paper, some of the papers too, and it's clear. And now our stamp sets, um, they have the uh, images printed on the sleeve. So you get the photopolymer, you take off this cheapy film, and then the other one is thicker. And then you take your stamp and you put it inside. And you do that for all of your images. So you can, it lines up and then that, and then you can just put your, um, the heavy one on top to protect it. So it's really nice. Um, love the way they're doing that now so the other thing that um this is part of a uh, mega suite so this comes with two stamp sets i didn't get the other stamp set um it was pine cones and foliage and i felt like i got enough pine cones i think some sentiments also some christmas sentiments but i got enough in what i was doing so i wasn't worried about that but the reason i got this bundle i wanted a little bit of pine cones so but look at these labels i really really love labels and so i felt like i was getting the pine cones but i got all these extra labels and that's why i really liked this one 
And I actually, this is like a $54 bundle, and I got this as my half price item. So, um, you know, if you know you're going to spend that much money, then really look at what bundle you're getting is most expensive and get the half price. All right, some other stamp sets. Really, really looked forward to this because who doesn't love this scripty font? I think this is so awesome. It's um, clean, so it's going to stamp wonderfully. And you can use some of these on the outside, some on the inside. Um, I actually have a scan and cut, so I'm going to put some of these in my scan and cut. If you don't, you can fussy cut, but I'm going to let I'm going to print some of those out and let it cut it out. This one here, this was my daughter's pick. I originally wasn't going to get this stamp set, but she went nuts about it because she wanted to put some angels on her Christmas cards. So this was definitely for my daughter. This, I knew I was going to have to get this for my daughter, but um, I'm sure I'll make a couple cards with it. But she definitely, every time there's a snowman stamp set, I have to have it for her. Um, this is actually in the current catalog, but I hadn't gotten it yet, um, but it's a background stamp, um, and I think it can be used for anything, really. Um, I don't feel like that it has to be just Christmas. I'm going to use it on some regular cards. Definitely, I've seen people from the incentive trip that got this as a freebie, um, or gift from the incentive trip, and I had to have the candy canes. Um, I figure I can use this for snowman or anything else. Um, I just thought it was fun. I do a lot of candy favors for my craft booth. And I'm really looking forward to using this in that. Other thing that, of course, I had to get. I saw this before I even saw the bundle that it um, coordinates with. Of course, I'm Shanna Sweet, so you know I had to get it because it said Sweets and Treats. It's got a cupcake, which is kind of my logo. So I definitely, my daughter loves pie. Um, my, her, my husband makes pie for us all the time. So I definitely had to get that. But then I noticed that it coordinated with another stamp set. So it goes along with this stamp set, Classic. Is that cloche? I don't even know how it's said. So I think this is super pretty. It's kind of um, replaces our snow globe one. So I think that it's super neat that these guys can go in that. And of course, it this guy got beat up in the packaging. Can you tell? Um, but it stayed good, so I wasn't too worried about it. So it's got these little shaker domes. And... Um, all these guys I'm gonna be I got some sequins so I got a couple things of sequins so that I could put in there so these say subtle shimmer sequins so they can be used for anything because of course they're silver and then we have um, just regular sh like hearts and pink and sort of stuff I'm going to put in this side with the candy for those. And then of course it has dies. And this is the dies that go with that that's going to cut out that for the shaker but you get some extra ones in here for some birds some trees look even limbs and look even like a little hill different ones so i think that's even awesome for cards of course another one that was right up my alley and my daughter went nuts about is this nuts about squirrels um because you, she, you know she just loves them so this guy you can color them with your markers or you can stamp them with their bodies there so I think that's kind of neat and it's photopolymer so it's really easy to see um, this is one of them that you can earn for free in celebration this time so this is another one that you can stamp it and um, fill it in or you can color it so and I believe it's 
photopolymer. So this one's going to go on two sides. So the other thing from Celebration that I had to have immediately was this counting sheep. Oh my gosh, look at those sheep. I am actually working on a baby album for someone, so I'm going to definitely use these sheep for that. And um, they actually have dyes. Now the dyes are only... Um, so Celebration is for two months. Um, August and September, but these dyes are only available while they last. So they're not guaranteeing the dyes for the whole time of celebration. So, um, and there is actually a couple other items. I know that this stood out to me, and there was some paper. Oh. So this paper, which is like, um, it's called Bedazzling, this is not guaranteed either. This is only while it lasts. It's a celebration, and it's kind of, I thought, it says Bedazzling. I thought it was more silver, but when I'm looking at it, it looks more like a rose gold. It doesn't say what color it is. But it's very honeycomb-like, and it's like a disco ball. So you get eight pages, and I definitely got, um, I wanted to make uh, snowflakes, because that's one of the things here I got. I'm going to see if I can cut out some snowflakes with that. So I know these two items for sure. There were three things they weren't guaranteeing, but I know those two were the big ones. Um, so this is the Snowflake set. We have one in the current annual catalog um, that carried over, but this is the new one. And I don't have the current one, and I was sitting there debating which one I wanted to get. And I decided on this one because there's this that looked to me like it like imprinted. So I thought this would be really cool to put across the edge of cards. And then I really liked all these different snowflakes. And then you could do some out, um, cutouts or you could cut these out individually. So that's what made me choose this one versus the one we already have so and this is a cling stamp set so this next one oh my gosh this one is another one that has some paper and it's actually in the catalog so you can get it um, and I had to get two packages because my daughter is already planning her Christmas cards with this and I'm definitely going to do a class with it also. I don't try to do too many seasonal, but definitely gonna have to do one with this, guys, because look at these guys. Oh my gosh, look at those puppies. And if you don't like the animals, I mean, the back is very traditional, so you definitely could use the back of the papers if you happen to be Look, doesn't he look like Grumpy Cat? That's so funny. So here's some stockings. Um, I actually have out my tidings. So, no. So I have that out for something else. So the dies that come in this set. Um, and I almost didn't get these dies because I do have a scan and cut so I can cut some of my images out. But I chose to get the dies because you get this great big tag and then you get some little tags. But you get this parts here to make a stocking. Okay. So like this little part and there's a little and they're stitched. So see how they make the stocking itself. So that's what made me decide. And there's a star, so there's a bow. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get it. Just because I have a scan and cut, I still buy a ton of dies because there's always more. There's always more than just the outline. So, oh my gosh, look at that little York. I don't even have pets. 
but I just love them. And here's one. So see, there's definitely, but I'm definitely going to have to do a class. Um, because, and I'll probably do some with animals, some without. Because you could definitely just do the stockings. And I believe this is photo. Yeah. And with that, we do have felt. Um, and this has got four colors. It looks like green, red. It looks like old olive, actually. Um, red, like kind of beigeish white and then yellow so I'm definitely going to use that with the stockings the last of my stamp sets that I have um arctic bears we just love animals in my house even though we don't have any um but the my daughter really loves bears and I thought this was very good for non just winter but just just cards in general you see here it's got a thank you thinking of you my heart is with you every step of the way so it's a very comforting it is uh and then the dies on this one were really awesome because they have a lot of um that i think i can use for other things so look here this is can be making um a moon Here's an iceberg. Here's something you can do for water. Here's a wave. I mean, this I can use these dies for lots of things. And then um, both of these are celebration stamp sets. Um, so you can earn these. I don't honestly, um, I think this one, I, you can color it, but I probably would just, I'll just stamp it with, you know, like some early espresso, or you could even do it with like old olive. I think just um, stamping it would be great and putting some nice um, paper behind the, like a white or I, uh, vanilla image and then this one here is going to be great for doing some background or stamping behind images just to mingle in with some other stamps and I think that'll be great for those paper these are the other embellishments that I got of course they brought back our brushed um, metallics and so now they have some adhesive dots to go with them so that's going to be awesome and I love these, there are genial gems, and these are just like them, but white and are clear and red. So that I had to have two of. Loved this um, gingham ribbon. I know everybody's been showing it because it's like totally awesome. Probably gonna have to have a couple rolls of those to keep when it goes away. This one is a cherry cobbler and gold. So I really expect that to be very popular. And this one, I need to actually order, we can order, I'm gonna have to order a couple of these because I'm getting ready. I'm working on a boy baby album right now for my um, husband's niece for a friend, but she wants one for my grand niece. And I'm using Blushing Bride as the base pages. And this is a Blushing Bride um, Grow Grain, it says. So I think this will be perfect for that baby album. And it wasn't even planned. So I think that's going to be awesome. And then here is some more snowflakes. I thought this would be great to accent the snowflakes that I already have. So paper-wise... Um, here, I didn't, I think I got most of the papers. Um, you know, sometimes I do people's paper shares, but I just decided to get my papers. Because holiday papers, my daughter and I use that mostly for Christmas stuff, so it's not usually a problem. So this one is gingerbread and mint, and it's 48, so I think there is four. I know there is a stamp set of dies, that, and the dies will cut out these um, shapes. I didn't get it, but oh, I love that too. So even if you don't like one side, almost always you'll use the other. Love these dots. 
Um, so this is the trees and the... Oh man, look at... Oh yeah. Because I do a lot of candy in my um, craft booth in the holidays. So this will be perfect for that. Yeah. So that's probably what I'll use a lot of this one for. Our cocoa packs. Um, we cover the front of it. So this would be good for that. So these are perfect for that. Ooh, more peppermints or type. And so that one. Love that. Very traditional. Now, we weren't going to get any Halloween. We only make Halloween cards for my grandsons, usually. Um, although, I don't know. We'll see. But my daughter wanted the Halloween paper because she wanted to be able to make some cards. To She mails out cards to all her grandparents. Um, so, she'll probably make Halloween cards for all her grandparents. And um, so... What we do is we just wait for Paper Pumpkin to send us a happy... I didn't get any stamps, but Paper Pumpkin usually has um, a Halloween sentiment. So so she'll just use these. There is a punch that punches out some of these, um, like this Cat and Pumpkin. And so she loved this Cat and Pumpkin. Might be worth getting the punch, just so you could punch these guys out. I do love that. That I could use on a regular card. And I could have sworn that I got... I thought I had clicked on... They have stars, and I thought I clicked on that, but maybe I didn't. I'll have to go back and get it, because she wanted some stars. They have holographic stars, and I thought I got them. Oh my gosh, look at that little bat. That, oh my god. Okay, that is just too adorable. So, I don't even know if I would have to do how. Can I just send somebody a thinking of you card with that? Because I would do that in the month of October. Just send people thank you, thinking of you cards and use up your Halloween paper. You don't even have to say Happy Halloween. Because it is very adorable. Like, maybe we should just send everybody thinking of you cards in Halloween. So there's a little, and it's black and white. I think all the whole back side, oh no, they're not all. Yeah, the back sides are black and white, and the front sides are whimsical. All right, so big paper. This is Harvest Meadow. There's a stamp bundle that's in this suite, and I'm just so on the fence about it. I just have so many um, wildlife sort of things. So, but I really, really like this paper. I think this is very. Um, look at that! Oh my gosh! I think this would be so pretty. I'm from Kansas, so you know that this is just like very much in line with what we do. And um, is us. So I even love that. That's pretty. Um, this is the uh, brush metallic. That's a repeat from last year. Um, so glad they brought that back. I forgot what was carrying over. There was stuff that carried over into the annual and then stuff that they were just bringing back. And This one is um, beautiful pinned. This is celebration. And this is a um, like a sister paper to the hand pinned. It's a black and white version. It looks like you get four, four sheets. So not gonna be a ton of designs like in the other ones. Looks like there's three. 
So you get um, so one, two, six designs. So lovely there. You can color that or um, make some black and white cards. This is a snowy white velvet. So I thought this would be really good for the snowflakes. Um, I don't know if you can, you just, you can feel it. It's very, there's a red, I don't know if I got the red velvet. There's a red velvet too. Can't remember, honestly. So silver foil went away in the annual catalog. Um, so we only have gold and copper in the annual, but they have a silver specialty pack in the winter. So this silver specialty has some different, there are different shades. I th thought there were three, yeah. So I don't know if you can see, they're like, um, this one actually has some texture. This is almost like the brush metallic, but with silver. This one is very, this is like our other silver, very bright. And then this one seems very um, flat, I guess. Okay, so this was very exciting. This is cork. And they have came out and said, be very mindful. This is not like regular paper. It's going to, um, it, it literally feels like cork. Like it's soft, it's gonna, it might shrink a little if you run it through your cutter, things like that. So. All right, um, let me do this one real quick. This is a gold shear, so shimmer. No, vellum, shimmer vellum. So it should be pretty thin. Since it's vellum. Yeah, you can, well, it's thick. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not like it's, um, it's a regular, but I love the shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ooh, definitely accenting some paper cards with that. And of course, red and green foil is back. I had to have that. Then, oh, I did get the red velvet, good. So this is like the white, except that it's red. And they look how they put it between two pieces of cardboard so it won't get messed up. That is lovely. All right, so two more papers that I have. This one is a celebration. And this goes along, you can use it with a punch. There's a deer punch. Um, so if you got the punch, then you can punch out some of these deers. Um, ooh, look at that, oh my gosh. And here's some, oh, there's stripes. Just love this paper. Oh my God. Oh, here's some more deer. Oh, the smell of new paper. If you could smell this, all this paper I've opened. Oh, like my room smells like paper right now. All right, this, my daughter, all she has seen is this page. And she's already like, oh my gosh, you have to get more of that. And she hadn't even opened it. Like, she hasn't even seen the rest. All she's seen is this. So, I might have to figure out how to incorporate this into the baby album. Because that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at those holly. This is whimsical. Whimsy. There's a stamp set that's got, like, trees um, that are very pretty. Look at those presents. 
stripes. Who doesn't match? Oh my gosh, look at, oh my god, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little baby dot fawn. Oh. All right, so that's everything that I got. I know it's not nearly as much as some people, but it's a lot for me. Um, so I, like I said, if you guys are watching this and um, want to sign up on my email list, please do. Um, and that way you know when I'm doing classes with some of this product will definitely be in classes and also if you need me to send you a catalog let me know talk to you later have a great day bye